Hello, my name is Maureen and I'm going to teach you how to make homemade lip balm. Before you begin, you should always wash your hands. To make lip balm, you are going to need 20 lip balm tubes, 20 lip balm lids, a plastic syringe, a Pyrex glass container, one napkin, one metal spoon, two cups of water, and a pot. These are the ingredients you will need to make my homemade lip balm. Coconut oil, shea butter, beeswax, and peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is optional. To make your lip balm, you will have to combine equal parts of beeswax, shea butter, and coconut oil into the Pyrex glass container. Add all the ingredients into the glass container, and when you're finished adding them all, stir. Next, add your two cups of water to the pot. And then add your container of ingredients into the water. I like to use organic ingredients. Then turn on the stove. Let this sit for about three minutes until the ingredients are almost melted. After waiting two to three minutes, stir the lip balm. If you are not capable of dealing with a hot stove and or hot liquids, then you should have an adult supervision. Wait another one to two minutes and then stir again. Every minute or so, you should stir the mixture to make sure it melts completely. Do not fill your lip balm containers when the mixture looks like this. This is not completely dissolved and it would make the lip balm chunky. Next, add your essential oil. I am using organic peppermint oil. I'm making about 20 lip balms, so I'm going to do about 40 drops. Next, stir in the peppermint oil very well. I like to start with a sterile syringe to keep the lip balm clean. Place the syringe into the lip balm. Fill it completely with lip balm. Move it over to the lip balm container. Begin to squeeze the syringe out, careful not to spill. Fill it almost to the top. Later we will top it off with more lip balm. Move on to the next lip balm container. You may have to turn your burner back on if the lip balm does not come up in the syringe. This is what I had to do. When you let the chapstick sit for around two minutes, then you should top each one off. This is how to do it. Fill it almost to the very top, not letting it spill over. After you let the chapstick cool for about a minute, place on the lid. Once the lid is on, you should let the chapstick cool for at least five minutes to completely harden. This is what the finished chapstick should look like. Thank you for watching.